everybody Ann here sitting outside having my coffee. Hey Jeanette, we're having coffee outside together. Anyway, um, the tire situation didn't come without drama. I got there for my appointment a little bit early and then they told me it was going to be two hours and I'm like, oh my gosh, two hours? Why did I even bother making an appointment? Um, so about two and a half hours later, I went to pick up the truck and one of the tires that was shipped had a defect and the guy the, the manager guy he says I wouldn't put this tire I don't know if I would put this tire on my truck and I got a little bit angry but then I thought you know what this guy he probably just saved my life he could very well have just saved my life if it was Firestone they would have put that tire right on that truck and let me drive away and let it blow out and then I'd have to buy a new tire so what they did, uh, they're take, they're returning the tire, they've ordered me a new one, they put the best of my four tires on the back, and I go back in either Tuesday or Wednesday and have the tire put on. I did get the oil changed, but a little bit of a disappointment, but that's okay, and they're good tires, so um, they even look maybe just a little bit wider than the other ones that I had, so I think they're going to work out fine. Anyhow, I kind of had a good night's sleep last night a little bit. I've managed to brush my hair a little bit. Um, as far as today's projects, I don't know. I haven't even finished my coffee. I can't. I can't think until I've had my coffee. So I'm going to have my coffee and figure out what's going to go down on the little tiny fledgling homestead today. And I'm going to take you guys along. Most of the day, I've just been trying to get organized on the inside, and I've got my little tea cart there. That little chair I will likely move because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to put the wood-burning stove right back through the window again this winter, and I've got to move move some stuff around to make that happen. But I've moved this little wicker shelf thing over there. Yep, it's jam-packed full of stuff. Got to get that organized, too. That is my beautiful couch-slash-bed, and back there is the dressing slash bathroom area it's working great and then this corner here I've got my chair oh that is one of the blankets that my parents brought it's one of those really thin ones and they left it here for me um, and I, I like the colors of it this is the solar area I wanted to get these the charge controller and the inverter up on the wall but I can't because I am going to have to um, install some plywood so it'll be more secure. Yep, keep it simple. Just got that up there. I got fans in the window. I just got a bunch of junk in there. Um, Papa's feeding station. This little thing over here. My spice rack. And then back here, like before. Yep, that's that big metal thing. And I've just got those pretty buffalo check curtains on it. But here's what it kind of looks like pulled back a little bit. It's coming along. I still have to find places for things, but that will come. All right, so this is the kitchen. Yep, that's my sink. I put the sink out this way. I just put that board long ways, and I love my red tractor supply company bucket. There's the Berkey over there now. This little thing right here, I've just put it up there. I'm going to put something else up there, but underneath I've got the propane tank, and i got a tote filled with a bunch of stuff, and I'm going to put pots and pans on top of it. I thought about getting a little cabinet, but I don't know. I did move that little chest of drawers right there underneath. And, yeah, I brought this, the, I bought this brown table thingy, and it is perfect. I love the way that it looks, and it's got plenty storage space underneath. Yep, that's the messy kitchen area part. I crack some eggs, I'm drying them out. And my mom had brought this, so I collect my eggs in that. And this one, I just put my potatoes in. And I hung my plates back up. It's hard to see. It's a little bit dark. but And yep, I've got those curtains back up. Uh, that's what I'm going to use until I figure out something else for the curtains. They're just nailed up there. But yeah, it's coming along slowly but surely. I need to do some cleaning. need to clean that dish rag, that's for sure. But it just looks so gorgeous. I just love it. I figured before it got too hot today, I'd go and see if I could tackle some of this poison ivy. Basically, all I do, and Cody showed me how to do this, is just go around the tree at the bottom and just kind of tap the vines, and it will basically make them die all the way up the tree. So it's kind of hard to do holding a camera, but um, and it's kind of hard to, to put the knife you know, in it and then try and cut it that way because it just pulls the vine off and really it's easier just to tap the side of it. It doesn't really hurt the tree at all. 
So, yeah, I've got quite a bit of poison ivy that I've got to take care of. Some of it isn't poison ivy. Some of it is part of the tree. So you kind of have to look at it and make sure you're not cutting down stuff that you want or you don't need to. There's just so much of it all over the place. But, yeah. Oh, look at this. This is not poison ivy. Take a look at that. That's a nice big blackberry. Oh, I hope the birds don't get it. I really, really do. Yummy. Poor Papa. He is so hot. Got him some fresh water, but he just cannot stop panting. Yeah, I got another tote, and I put a bunch of stuff in it, too. I'm trying to get organized. It'll get there. Look at the banana peppers. They're starting to get blooms. Oh, yes, they are. There's some over there, too. Every single plant has some blooms on it, as well as the jalapeno pepper plants. Yep. I'm going to have some peppers. Oh, yes, I need to transplant those very soon. And look at that. My eggplant plant has blooms on it now, too. So, maybe someday these will catch up. Maybe they won't. I don't know. I think it's too hot for my spinach. It's starting to bolt. So, I may just end up cutting that back. I don't know. Cutting it off. Taking it out completely. Feeding it to the chickens. See, this one that gets the most sun up here. Is doing really horrible and I know that that uh, spinach doesn't do well in the blazing hot sun. It is so hot outside you guys right now that I had to come inside just to cool off. It's actually cooler inside. I can't believe it. I have the the curtain drawn over the window that the sun is coming in so that the sun won't beat down in here and get warm. But yeah look at my face. This is still so red. Oh my gosh. Anyhow, um, a few of you had mentioned what you thought that those spots were on the apple trees. And yeah, I even talked to the guy about it, cedar rust. He says apple trees and cedar trees do not do well together. And remember, I planted that little cedar tree out front, so I think I'm going to have to remove it. But I, I think that maybe it had happened before that, you know, who knows? I don't know. Maybe it was on it in the nursery. But the guy suggested I get this. And this spray takes care of cedar rust. It takes care of aphids, all kinds of different bugs. You can use it on, you know, the tree, the, the apple trees, strawberries, all different kinds of different stuff. And you only need like one and a half to two and a half um, tablespoons per gallon of water. I have a garden sprayer that I can use. So I'm going to do that tomorrow morning because it's too hot right now. And they suggest that you pick a time that is not hot, you know, and the sun's not beating down, and that's like right now, so it's like 88 degrees outside. I don't know what it is. Oh, I need to get that thermometer and set it up in here and see how hot it gets. Anyhow, I also got, let me show ya, <laughs> this fertilizer. Yep, I'm gonna fertilize it. I need to read up on when I need to do it. Uh, yeah, so I'll be fertilizing too very soon, I think. Um, he said to do it a couple times. I've got some instructions in the bag. Anyhow, so yeah, tomorrow's going to be an apple tree day. Today, I basically got the plants watered. I chased after Papa when he went over to Mr. Lucas' property, and we took a long walk down by where the mushrooms grow, and um, he's got honeysuckle over there, and I took one of your suggestions. I pulled off one of the um, honeysuckle flowers and suck the end of it. Oh, it's delicious. I'm going to make some, I'm going to make some tea. I'm going to make some syrup and all kinds of different stuff. Um, so yeah, I got the plants watered, chopped down a bunch of poison ivy. Well, I didn't chop it down. I just severed the, the, um, vines, um, and have been playing with the chickens. <laughs> They're so much fun. And I don't know what's going to happen for the rest of the day. I think, I think Papa and I are going to get in my truck. We're going to get in the air conditioning and I'm going to go into town and I'm going to get some junk food. I am just going to probably get a burger. I don't usually do that, but we'll be able to cool down for a little while and I can upload this video. So, well, anyhow, I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.